because it's not a pallet. <laughs> large rings got carved with the turbo plane, but these smaller diameter rings, the radius gets smaller as the rings get smaller, so I need a smaller tool to carve those. So for the smaller rings, I'm using the mini turbo, which is just a miniature version of the turbo plane. So this comes with a shaft here that normally threads directly onto the arbor of your angle grinder, but because of the direction that I'm cutting, what I'm gonna do 
is take the mini carver, take the head off of the mini turbo, and mount that on the mini carver to carve with. That's the last ring, so I'm all done carving, for now. Such a dumb idea.
Yeah, okay. So this lathe tool, I just made. I actually made it just for this project. It's a laminated pallet wood handle that I turned, and then three feet of half inch square bar stock with a negative rake carbide scraper on the end. It's ridiculous, and I love it. So the negative rake cutter is less aggressive. This is so long that I'll be able to support it with my body, and I'm gonna take very light passes, and it's gonna work, in theory. That was kind of a lot, but it's all done now. Rough sanding. It's all done, so now I gotta finish sand all that. Finally time for finish. First step is wiping this whole thing down with paint thinner with a rag to get the rest of the dust off that's left on here. Then wood sealer on this entire thing that's not finished yet, which is most of it at this point. Then this whole thing's gonna get sprayed down with many coats of varnish to get into all the cracks and crevices. Okay. <laughs>
And thank you for watching. I hope you genuinely enjoyed this in the video. The whole project all in was about two months in the making. So you better have liked it. And at least a solid week of that or so it was just sanding. That's what I do when I'm stuck at home. So this video would not have been possible without Arbor Tech tools, both because they are the best power carving tools on the market and because of their support of this video. So all their power carving attachments have carbide cutters, so they make really quick work and leave behind a really clean surface. And because they cut so smoothly, they don't grab, which makes them really safe to use. So on this project, I used the turbo plane to cut the larger rings, the mini carver with the mini turbo in it to cut the smaller rings, and then the mini carver and the contour sander to do all the sanding. The mini carver is a radial carver for really quick rough sanding, and then the contour sander is actually a random orbit sander for smooth finish sanding. And of course, both have the flexible rubber head that conforms to your workpiece. You can find links down below. You can find the links down below to all these tools with more info, and so you can try power carving for yourself. That's where every time I do a power carving project, I just come up with more and more project ideas. It's kind of a problem. And don't forget to like and subscribe and know that I read every single comment because your validation is sustenance to me. And my next video is actually gonna be another large power carving project that I started last year, six months ago. And follow me on Instagram. Keep up with real-time updates on that project and all of my others. And in the meantime, I got plenty of other videos that you can watch and I hope that you will. I need that sustenance.